So the final to uh, topic we're gonna talk about on the uh, quick water leveler has to do with um, repairing a cracked housing. Um, what will sometimes happen, as we just discussed earlier, is over tightening of the uh, float down into this lower um, water feed fitting. Um, <clears throat> so there's several ways that you could plumb this in. Directly below here, you could have a street 90, you could have a, a segment, a, a schedule 80 nipple, or you could have a piece of schedule 40 pipe. So as you guys all know, the inside diameter of each one of those fittings is slightly different. So what we have is we have a repair for each one of those instances. So if you're in the field and you have one of these cracked housings, um, the first thing you're gonna need to do is I try to identify what the inside diameter of the pipe is below the housing, what's being glued into the housing. So down inside of the, uh, where the, the float threads in, you can see there's a small lip down in there. What you will have to do is come in with a drill and drill that out to make clearance for these little repairs. So what this, this is the street 91 here. Um, what this is is basically this outside diameter will glue into the inside of a street 90 and this thread is the thread specific for the float. So once you've come in and drilled out the hole to make clearance, this one is not drilled out, but once you came in and drilled that out, this would slide down inside the street 90. You just use your standard PVC adhesive and glue this in place. Then you can thread the float directly down inside of this um, repair. So once again, we've got one for a Schedule 40. You can see it's got a little bit longer throat and a different diameter throat on it. And then finally, the Schedule 80 has the smallest because of the increased wall thickness, but they all work the same way. They all drop down inside there. You will have to drill out that little ring to get it in, um, but it's a nice, easy, quick fix. So one other additional feature of the housing itself um, is, is this small overfill port. Um, you'll notice that it's blinded off right now, it's not open, so they'll all be shipped um, as this one is with this blinded off. But the option there is any area where you have um, a lot of rain, you know, um, we, a lot of these are installed in southern Florida and Texas where they have these big storms that'll come through with heavy rainfall. What this is, is you can drill this out and put in a um, three quarter inch uh, threaded um, male to female slip fitting and then you can run your piece of a piece of pipe up to the top and cut it so that if the rain comes up over the deck this can be plumbed, plumbed out to a um, kind of a catch basin or a, a uh, rock bed so that your pool doesn't overfill and come up over the deck so it's a, just a small little feature but something that sometimes people don't realize is even in the product itself. For additional educational videos about ANA products, please visit our website at www.aamfg.com and follow the link to our YouTube page.